In this video, we're going to learn how to customize different aspects of the portal to make it look more professional. Many aspects of your site can be customized to capture your brand feeling and look more appealing to users. Here are some of the most important things that we encourage users to do. Use a transparent background for logos. Use high-resolution pictures on the carousel. Use a professional color scheme. Use your own URL. Enable the option to display portal headings in a colored bar. Add pictures to courses and modules. Use the graphical layout for the course catalog. And set the dashboard as the default landing page. Now let's talk about each of these aspects. We strongly recommend that the logo that you use has a transparent background because it will blend better with the design of the site and it will also look nicer on your portal. We also recommend that the logo is not taller than 1 inch. As you can see, in the left we have an example of a logo with a transparent background that blends well with the site. On the right side we have an example of one logo not to use with a color background and too tall taking too much space on the left bar. The next aspect we recommend is using 3 or 4 high resolution pictures on the carousel. The portal is the first thing visitors see when they come to your site and it's important to have nice and clear pictures that best represent your organization. Here are some examples of sites that offer free images. Another recommendation related to the portal is enabling the option to display portal headings in a colored bar. If you do this, the custom pages will have a colored bar that will make them look more appealing. You can enable this option from admin portal. Moving on to the color scheme. Using a professional color scheme with colors that blend well makes the whole site look better. As you can see on the left, we use colors that blend nicely and match the logo. One of the things that we emphasize on is using a gentle color for links. In the example on the right, the colors of the top bar and the links are very bright and make the site look unappealing. Here are some useful links for creating color schemes. The next thing we recommend is using your own URL with your organization's name. We suggest choosing a URL that is short and easy to remember by your users. Try to avoid URLs that are too complicated or hard to write. Moving on to the course catalog. We recommend that you enable the graphical layout instead of the flat design. As you can see, the graphical catalog on the left is far more beautiful than the boring flat list design on the right. We also recommend to use pictures for all your courses and the pictures should have a 4x3 aspect ratio. Also, we advise users to add pictures to their modules. As you can see, in the right side, a course without any pictures looks dull. You can configure the module picture to show up in the left bar and it's good to have a picture that best represents the module. We also recommend to set the default landing page of the site to be the dashboard instead of the welcome page. Having the dashboard as the landing page is useful for students because they can see in which courses they are enrolled and easily access items such as the current module, their assignments and the course newsfeed. If you want to have a welcome message for students, you can create a welcome pop-up via admin portal. This way, when students log in, they will see the welcome pop-up and still have their dashboard as the home page. Also, if a student is not enrolled in any courses, 
You can customize the standard message to make it look nicer by including videos, pictures or links. To edit the message, go to Admin Dashboard. As you can see on the right side, we have a custom message with pictures and a link to the course catalog. These are the main aspects that we recommend to users in order to have a beautiful and professional looking site. We also provide consulting for portal design, so if you need any help in customizing your portal, please contact us.